What's up, my beautiful divine feminine? What it do, what it do, what it do? Welcome back to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. That's a confirmation. Yeah, we're going to expose some clowns today. Somebody that you walked away from. You got to expose this person. Yeah, you walked away. You, you got on your spiritual journey. You moved on. And now this person may be trying to come towards you. They may be trying to send a message to you. Email you. It could be a confirmation. It could be a a uh, letter of an apology. Somebody really trying to get in contact with you. Something concerning your phone. Yes, but somebody, this is the energy of somebody coming to apologize to you. Okay. This person may know that you are a trust fund baby. They may be aware. But you said time's up with this person. So show me the energy surrounding the person that the collective has walked away from. Now, this, this collected, this can be a he or a she. You could be a man or a woman. I said divine feminine, but I know divine masculine. He'd be up in here too. But either um, either one of you could have walked away. So take the energy where it fits with you. It ain't going to resonate with everybody. But those of you that it does resonate, I'm asking you to hit that thumbs up button for me. And those of you, if you just like the story of what's going on between this divine masculine and this divine feminine, to hit the thumbs up also. Okay. And I really don't like, you know, I notice now lately when I show myself on camera, I feel more uncomfortable because I know that karmic energies are out there watching. And I know they're watching and getting mad at the reading. So I just, you know, I feel more comfortable letting you see the cards. Okay. Let's see. These, this is an entrepreneur card. This is, these are people that's out there will try to block you from, you know, either making your money, your hustle, uh, whatever it is that you do. You could have a gift, a talent, and you have people around there. And this may be the energy you may have blocked your channel because you, again, you walked away from this person. Because they try to stop your creativity. You could be a business owner. And they want to try to stop it. They try to block it. So you walk away from the ass. So show me the energy of the person that the collective has walked away from. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now. Hit that subscription button. And um, also go into your YouTube settings. Y'all need to go into your YouTube settings because when I look at my my information, it tells me that you you're not being you're not being notified. So you have to do an extra step other than hitting that notification bell. You have to go into the YouTube settings, turn on notifications, hit notifications, and then go to um, subscriptions and turn the the subscriptions tab on. And where it says all subscriptions to this to my channel, you turn on all the notifications. I mean, okay, because it's just not fair to me the way they did this to where my views are are that low. Or is it somebody out there? Or they're, they're, I know they're you know trying to attack me. I know, I know this. Okay, so show me the energy, Holy Spirit. What is the energy surrounding the collective when they come when it comes to the person? Wow, you sending this person straight to voicemail. So this is why they trying to come to you. They trying to call you. Yep, you sending you sending them straight to voicemail. This could this could be somebody who was dealing with somebody online, or you could have been dealing with this person online on on Messenger, some sort of 
video communication and you could have found out that this person is fake that they was wearing a false mask so we're gonna pull some tarot I'm gonna be switching back and forth to get clarification first we want to find out why is the collective sending this person straight to voicemail why is Divine Feminine sending this masculine, or it could be the masculine sending the, the collect Divine Feminine to voicemail, or the karmic? Take it where it resonates, okay? But I feel like Divine Feminine, you're more or less, this is Divine Feminine, but I know as other, you know, energies come in, and it is an all signs reading. You may be um, unaware that you're a Divine Feminine. See? Truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. Yeah. You found out that this person was wearing a mask. They was being false. Yes, yeah, so you stop. You stop talking to them. You sending them straight to voicemail. The sun in reverse. So yeah, you you stop talking to this person because you know that they don't want you to be happy. This is somebody who, you know, you collective you possibly walk around you represent success and abundance you represent strength okay and people are drawn to you because you have a beautiful warm energy okay and this person was trying to take that away from you because they see that you're successful you use your intuition mm -hmm. So, yeah, collective. So this is somebody you was you was possibly talking to online, yeah. And you could this person would leave you hanging. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the uh, air sign, a masculine energy, and the swords. You know they represent masculinity and intellect, but it also represents sorrow and misfortune. So, since you've blocked this person, this person, they, they're feeling like they're having misfortune, that things is just not going right in their life since you stopped talking to them. But they did what they did to themselves. And now they're not happy. But they still, you know, they haven't awakened. This person is still asleep. It's a Pisces energy that's still asleep. You could be a Leo or air, I mean, a um, fire sign. Yeah, whoever, whoever this energy is, you stop talking to them, okay? And again, like I said, they may be coming towards you, but they tried to stop your happiness. You are a person who, you know, you working hard on yourself. You working hard on your finances. And you've detached from this person. It's like you're saying you're not going to keep leaving me hanging so I can so I can't focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. You could have been talking to this person online. Okay. Yeah, see, this, this person, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person was trying to, you know, keep you from moving forward. Mm -hmm. See, the Ace of Pentacles is all about new opportunities. Um, the time is being right and moving forward. Okay, and it came in reverse. So this person, you know, now you know that this person was just trying to keep you stuck, unable to move. And you got the truth now, you know. And it's like now you're calm, you're happy since you, you released them. You're traveling. Yeah. 
high priestess. Yeah. Yeah, this divine feminine, this is why you're not talking to this person. Right about now, the, the, the center of your world is the world. You're accomplishing things. Okay? And you're embracing your, your accomplishments. Traveling. Mm -hmm. That's why that, that first card that I pulled up, it showed a ship. You walked away from a relationship. And some of you, you got on a spiritual journey. That boat can represent a spiritual journey. Moving forward. Leaving a situation or walking away. Because you was the relationship you was in left you struggling. Misaligned in values. It was a ten of cups re release. I mean, ten of cups reverse. There was no harmony. There was no divine love, so you moved on. This person could have had some sort of addiction. Mm -hmm. So you isolated yourself from them. And this person is right now, they're trying to figure you out. You're a mystery. They may not be used to, to others, you know, people walking away from them or leaving them. Okay, so clarify the energy online. Somebody was dealing with somebody online. Show me the energy. The collective that was dealing with someone online. Tell me about the person on the other end of that line that the collective was dealing with. So this card, it can mean, this could be your twin flame. For some of you, this could mean that both of you were wearing a mask or you're wearing the same mask, hiding something. Or this can, with the, it's, it's, it can, it can oh, I've never seen it. You know, when you look at it this way, it looks like. With these two eyes can be another person. It can represent a third party. I never looked at that card like that. Whoever this energy is, if they're your twin flame, you both could see, see, you know, share some, some visions together. You and this person may even have matching tattoos. anymore but since you walked away from this person and sending them straight to voicemail is you're improving yourself you're you're doing something for yourself and you're using your intuition and your intuition is telling you not to talk to this person to send them straight to voicemail Because when you was with this person, you couldn't heal. You may have been into taking spiritual baths and stuff, and then when this person come around, you stop. Because they did some sort of spell work. And now you're awakened to it, you know. Mm -hmm. And you're in a manifestation mode. For some of you, this is your baby mama. For you masculines, this is your baby mama. They could have been juggling you with another masculine. And you got the truth and clarity. Okay. And this is somebody, you know, you could have whatever your purpose is. You could have a gift, a talent. You may play an instrument. You may be an artist. And this person, if this was your baby mama, this masculine, she was, you know, she could have been calling you a fool or saying you a fool or if you wanted to start a new beginning playing an instrument or starting a new beginning with somebody else she was telling you that you're a fool or whoever this energy is you know try to stop you from your your purpose or your gift Yep, see, here it is 
again. See these two cards. I call these cards. They're they're like chosen cards. You have a gift. You have a purpose. You're awakened. You know your gift. Now some of you, you may own a business, okay. And it could have something to do with clothes. But this is also a good karma card that you're reaping what you sow. So you're working on whatever this, this eight of pentacles is. You're working on. And you're going to reap the good benefits of it. Okay? And this person, whoever they are, they were in your life trying to stop that. They wanted you to be disconnected. You know, struggling. left hanging see like if if whatever your purpose is or your gift you can be an artist you can be a dancer you can be a singer you have a gift you may be a speaker you may inspire people you may motivate people you know um but you either have a baby mama or a baby daddy somebody who you have a child with And maybe you and this baby mama is in a um, in two different states, and maybe you're talking to this baby mama. But I see you have a gift, whether it's a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Okay, the male and the female energies is out here, and it's not gender specific. You got tired of this person leaving you hanging, because see, when you sitting around waiting for them, you can't focus on you. You can't do what you're supposed to be doing or what you want to do. So you, you've awakened. This person took a bad risk trying to do this. What was the what is the false mask here? Holy Spirit, what is this false mask? this false mask what about the false mask they lied about their baby mama they trying to negotiate with you when it comes to their baby mama or you can be the baby mama some secrets about the baby mama is out here twice. Somebody is disoriented. Yeah, somebody is over is over committed to their baby mama, to their kids' mama. And this this you know, this could be your masculine energy, your divine masculine, divine feminine, or this could be your person. You may not know he's your divine masculine, or he could be a karmic masculine. You know, it's different for everybody. But whoever this this masculine energy is, he, it's like he overcommitted to his, his baby mama, his kid's mama, and she's causing a lot of setbacks and delays for him. And she could be you know, this she could be doing this in secret, on purpose. She could be a part of the occult. This masculine, he has, if he was juggling a divine feminine with the karmic, this kept him disoriented. And he it, it 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 was it was negative juggling. He was juggling this divine feminine and this baby mama and the kids. This baby mama, she was, you know, had this masculine disoriented because she was telling him things like if he move on from her, he's gonna be a failure and he's gonna have regrets and you know, um, this, that he's not, this wasn't, it's like he broke the rules 
she feels like he broke the rules with her because he then moved on. So this is a divine masculine who has moved on from his karmic child's mom. And she may be divine masculine confirmation. She may be coming towards you now because you're not, you know, you're sending her straight to voicemail. So she coming to your house, divine masculine. And she's going to try to, you know, she's going to come in a, a charming, graceful way. Or this could be you, divine feminine, with the charming and graceful energy, the beauty, femininity. You could be a Libra or you could be a Taurus. I see Pisces out here, Aries. Divine Feminine may be going towards Divine Masculine or this, this karmic energy may be going towards Divine Masculine. But I feel like it's it's... Somebody is, is coming to a masculine or feminine. Take it where it resonates. I'm reading for both sides, okay? But somebody is coming to try to negotiate something. Divine feminine, they, this may be a masculine coming to try to negotiate with you. Is you his child's mama? Or he could have a karmic child's mama. That he's moving on from. Or Divine Feminine you could be moving on. From him. Take it where it resonates. Yeah. Whoever this baby mama is. With the Six of Pentacles. This masculine was. is is It's like a. He's being taken for granted by this child's mama. He's very generous when it comes to this child mama and the kids. Confirmation. And and she's taking, you know, she's abusing his generosity. Yeah. She's extorting him in some sort of way. This has this masculine overwhelmed because this baby mama is is very persistent on you know this masculine given to her, and now he's he set some boundaries and he walked away. Yeah, he could be paranoid walking away because she telling him stuff. Like, you know, he going to have regrets for walking away from her. He's going to be a failure. He's not going to be able to do this. You know, whoever this energy is, they trying to make this masculine feel bad about himself. Yeah, and he's confused. Flipping in and flipping out. Somebody, this baby mama could be flipping out. She don't want this masculine to stand up for himself. Now, it's the energy of a, a feminine energy that's, you know, in the Queen of Swords energy. You could be the Empress Divine Feminine, or you can be the Queen of Swords. But Divine Feminine, she's, she's independent. She sets clear boundaries. Mm -hmm. She's cutthroat. And she gives you direct communication. Now, Divine Feminine, are you the baby mama? I don't think you you're you're extorting this masculine. Not this is this is a, a baby mama, but she's not in reverse. So, and neither is this Queen of Swords. Or you can be the, the Queen of Swords, Divine Feminine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the baby mama could be a Libra or a Taurus. But 
But I, you know, whoever this baby mama is, she may be extorting this masculine. Um, it could be just one-sided. If she's not extorting him, he's giving to her and she's not giving to him. Somebody could be pregnant. And if it's not his baby mama, it can be be his this divine masculine's actual mama. Who could be getting, you know, money. Now, if it's one-sided charity, this masculine, he may be just giving to his mom all the time. And maybe he's overwhelmed. He may be paranoid about his mama. His mama may be the queen of swords. Who sets boundaries and, and is judgmental towards this masculine. Overly emotional. Or this could be this baby. Now this. This 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 baby mama. I don't know. Tell I'm just telling you the energies out here. So put it where it fits with you. It's the energy of a baby mama out here. It's the energy of a queen of swords. But there is the energy of somebody juggling. So this masculine was juggling divine feminine with his baby mama. So now divine feminine, this is why you walked away from him. Now divine masculine, if this is your energy, you walked away from your baby mama. For some of you, like I said, it could be your own mama that you walked away from. And there's the energy of some hidden danger. Okay. Somebody is, is dealing with the occult forces of the occult. So I'm going to go into my little, my makeshift deck. And I got them all like in a, a, bu a bucket to just randomly pull. First card out, it's, it's over. Something about section eight. Didn't I say somebody have a tattoo? Somebody could have matching tattoos on their face. The tattoos, if they're not on their face, they could have matching tattoos somewhere on their body. And it could be a star. They could be, uh, this could be an air sign energy. Aquarius. She only wanted me because you love me, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Married. So somebody is on section eight. It could be the, the baby mama. She could be on section eight or you divine feminine. You may be on section eight. I don't know. But if if it's this baby mama on section eight, this is how she's taking this masculine for granted. Because she's she's um, if her rent is, you know, real low, then this masculine can easily pay her rent easily. But then she over. You know, she's burdening him. She gets defensive when he tell her, you know, you're you're in low income, so why, you know, why is this? Why is that? This could be a baby mama who could be materialistic but living in Section 8. They want divine feminine back. You could be married to this masculine divine feminine. Restricted. So yeah, this masculine is over and he didn't block it. Because he know that this this baby mama only wanted him because divine feminine loved him. And she's still holding on to him. Or this masculine could be still holding on to divine feminine. 
and they want her back. And this is their this masculine and this baby mama is going through a storm. Something ain't right. Divine masculine. She said a lot of negative things out of jealousy. So this karmic baby mama said a lot of negative things about you, divine feminine, because she's jealous of you. And she said a lot of negative things because it's over between her and this masculine. And it could be over because he didn't walk away from her and possibly met a divine feminine. And everybody wants to know who divine feminine is. So divine feminine, if you've been seen with this masculine and everybody, you know, if you're in, moved in a new neighborhood or something, or you come around, people want to know who you are. They know you're not this baby mama. Who is that new person? They want to know you, Divine Feminine. Yep, they, they, they trying to get information on who you are. This karmic, she, she fucked this masculine's homeboy. He said something ain't right between this something possibly wasn't right. He started noticing things between his homeboy and, and his baby mama. Okay. And your growth is a problem for them. Somebody is green with envy. She is very convincing. See, she said a lot of negative things about Divine Feminine that convinced this masculine to treat Divine Feminine a certain way. This karmic energy could have been using sex toys or this masculine could have been using sex toys on her. Now they feel stuck. Somebody probably got a sex toy stuck in them. <laughs> Somebody is triggered. Yeah, this karmic is triggered by Divine Feminine's energy or this masculine wanting Divine Feminine back, and she's triggered. So what she do, she try to say she's pregnant by this masculine again, but she not. She's just, you know, doing this. So Divine Feminine, this karmic energy, she gonna, she's going to say that she's pregnant, and she's probably going to try you try to show you a, a recording of her and the masculine having sex, but I feel like this is a, a, a old recording. She's trying to do something to trigger you to make you think she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now she could have, she could, this masculine could be feeling stuck because this karmic could be telling him that she's gonna, you know, expose the, the relationship between them since it's over. He don't want to be with her and this could have this masculine trigger. Okay. And for some of you, this could mean this karmic is gonna come tell you that she's pregnant. And, and that she got the recording of them having sex and it may trigger you. And this person didn't want this mask on. They was just jealous of Divine Feminine. Didn't I say that? Yeah. She's just jealous. She's jealous. Confirmation. She didn't want this mask on. She was just jealous. Mm -hmm. And now they mad at each other. Because this masculine wants to come back to his divine feminine. He didn't stop having sex with her. Mm -hmm. She's so jealous of you, divine feminine. Somebody wears Nike shorts. They had, they had Divine Feminine waiting while they dealt with this karmic clown. Something about social media. She could have been looking on your social media, looking you up, Divine Feminine, or you may have been looking her up. Or Divine Masculine could have been looking up one of you. With the, with, this is somebody he could have been dealing with on social media. Mm -hmm. Google image. Wow, a fake pregnancy test. 
So whoever this karmic is, she with the fake pregnancy test and the Google image. This is somebody who who screenshotted some shit, printed it out, and then went and or she may have a computer herself. She online doing shit. She printed out a fake pregnancy thing, took a picture of something on Google to make this masculine think she's pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Now, that's not for everybody, because some of these karmics are. She's jealous of divine masculine and divine feminine, because this ma the divine feminine makes the masculine want to be a better person. Mm -hmm. Children. He may want children with divine feminine, or he may have children with you, or this karmic feminine. Can't remember. So, whoever walked away from the karmic energy, now divine masculine, this could be your baby mama, jealous of divine feminine, or divine feminine, this could be your baby daddy, jealous of the divine masculine. Take it where it resonates. It's different for everybody, male or female, okay? But see, there's some sort of success and determination out here. There's conflict and arguments. A player energy. The relationship, the lovers in reverse, is not a meaningful relationship. There's no soul connection. So your masculine, he could be a natural born leader type of energy. He's not ruthless. You know, he could be a good person. He could be successful and determined. To take action towards the divine feminine and he has a, a baby mama who's basically energetically trying to extort him monetarily taking him for granted she don't give she uses the kids some sort of way and she's on section eight now this masculine he got the truth so this could be why you walked away from him or why he walked away from this karmic energy okay and Divine Feminine, this could be your ex-baby daddy. Divine Masculine, this could be your ex-baby mama. Okay? But you're 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 making a decision. You're it's like you it's 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 gotta be some sort of fairness when it comes to this opposite energy, this karmic. Okay, yeah, mental clarity, and it came out here. Somebody got the, the clarity twice, confirmation. And now they're going through, you know, secretly they're in, a, in turmoil. Because they this masculine is dealing. This is, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's different ways this can go. I see it different ways out here for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And if you're together, then this, this baby mama is affecting your relationship. She said said a lot of negative things about divine feminine, you know. Um but now that this masculine he's he's walked away from her. He's not, you know, he could have been having nightmares about this divine feminine, I mean about this karmic feminine. He could be, you know, going through inner turmoil because he was keeping this a secret from his divine feminine that he's taking care of this karmic baby mama basically so now he's just he's not he's not taking care of her no more he's not accepting her calls no more he's not coming through because see this ma masculine he's a, a natural born leader type of energy but he's a player at the same time 
So he may not be a a, a player player, you know what I mean? But he's he's a his baby mama is is you know kind of like making him be a player. I know she can't make him be a player, but this is a, a feminine energy that I feel that if he has kids with her, well, which he do, he got kids with her. That she uses the kids to manipulate this masculine and she makes him dance to her music because if she don't, if he don't, then she holds the kids. What happens when this when this masculine don't go agree with the baby mama? What happens? Financial opportunities. He's learning from failure and manifestation. Yes. Six of Cups in reverse. Stuck in the past. Yeah. This masculine, he's he's moving forward while this karmic is stuck in the past. Yeah. He he couldn't heal when when he was with this karmic baby mama. He didn't feel comfortable. He don't have no happy memories with her. She's dishonest. Complicated. She kept his masculine worry. Yeah. See, with the team for, team teamwork, effort out here, three of pentacles. This this person she uses her kids it's a teamwork thing between this this empress and her kids yeah this baby mama she has this masculine given to the kids all the time and then she gets defensive when he speaks the truth with her and then there's an argument uh-huh more y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button yeah there's a lot of arguments and there was a breakup five of pentacles a loss of finances loss of emotions this masculine he walked away he's not taking care of this feminine no more she's on section eight she's her 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 rent is based on how much she gets so she should be able to make it because they help you. I was on low income too. Okay. I ain't going to say that I wish I was again. But you know. It, it was easier. But at the same time. When you're on section 8. And, and all them low income programs. It's like a setup. Because you can't move forward. You can't. You know. it's The system have will have you stuck. Okay. Because when you're on, on government assistance. They give you, say for instance, you're on government assistance. I don't know what city or state you represent your state. But, you know, when it comes to the county and the government assistance, low income rent, Section 8, and all that stuff, you're limited. You have limited success. They won't allow you to be successful because they want you to depend on them. So if you're on low income and you get a job, However much money you make on their job, they're they're going to deduct that from what they would usually give you. How are you supposed to move forward? How will you be able to save anything? They don't want you to save because they want you solely to depend on them. And then you can't grow your own food because you're living in a building where you can't, there's no way you can plant food and shit. So you have to go and buy all of this over-processed food. And be unhealthy. I'm not even going to go on that. That's a whole nother story. But. This masculine has walked away. Okay. He's manifesting financial opportunities. Yeah. He done walked away. Somebody's child may have ran away. Because this baby mama. Is always. Always. Um, begging his masculine. Child may have turned 18 or gone off to college. Yeah. See, whoever yeah, whoever this person is, she's the queen of pentacles in reverse. This is a, a work-at-home mom. 
Okay. She's she's very selfish. So what she was doing, the 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 child has walked away or moved out or something. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she may, everybody may be walking away from her because she's starts a lot of conflict and she's selfish and only cares about herself. Yeah. She is like, she don't, she don't, she's not a working mother. She's not nurturing. She don't pr provide financially for her kids. So she'll call this masculine to do everything. What does this, what does she do with the money she made? She does this as revenge with the five of swords in reverse. She does this to, for revenge for this masculine, why is why what is the revenge here for? So she's doing this because this masculine he may have even gotten a restraining order on her, and she's doing this, you know, for this masculine to be in the three of wands in reverse, restricted, you know, um, obstacles and delays. So he can't move forward. He can't grow. Yeah, this is this is cold. This is a false twin flame for this master. Okay. She's doing magic. Because this masculine is full of full of potential. And she wants him to experience a loss. Mm -hmm. I'm getting chills, whoever this person is. But this masculine is not confused. He didn't try to send no energy of confusion to her. He didn't block his communication with her. He just told her what it is. And this, this he restricted her. Because he told her that she's, you know, causing delays for him. She was just creating some sort of illusion in front of this masculine. Or telling this masculine she got a lot of options. She could have been saying things like, um, well, I'm going to get so-and-so to do this. She manipulates this masculine by telling him she'll get another man to take care of the kids or she's going to have another man around her kids. She was manipulating. And see, this masculine, he had the fear of the unknown. He, he don't know... Who, who are these people she's going to be bringing? Who is this man or men that she's going to be bringing around my kids? So she just has this masculine all fucked up. To find that he just walked away. Yep. He had to pretend like he was secretly happy, but he wasn't satisfied. And he didn't, he didn't let out, you know, the hurt that he was holding. He just released her. And this was a difficult situation for this masculine to do it. And now he's avoiding this karma. He's a free, free spirit. He's feeling limitless. Mm -hmm. And when he was with her, you know, it was limited success. A lot of disappointment. So he's, you know, he escaped in withdrawal. He walked away from her. Now he's feeling the, the rainbow. <laughs> And when this masculine was with this karmic, you know, she put a lot of self-doubt in this masculine's ear. When he it came to some sort of business, he could have a lot of money. But when he was dealing with this karmic, you know, um, he he she made him feel like a financial failure. And the crazy thing is, if she's on section eight and she's trying to make him feel like a financial failure. She does this when he don't do what she want him to do. Yeah. She's slowly but surely trying to keep this masculine from awakening. Mm-hmm. 
and see with this divine masculine he you know he possibly trying to be trying to tell this karmic energy things new ideas you know uh she may talk karmic slaying all the time and this masculine you know he just walked away he didn't want to deal with with somebody with such a foul mouth potty mouth Ebonics type of energy and he didn't want to get back with her. And this was a painful ending for this karmic. She feel like this masculine has betrayed her. And nothing is making her happy right now. So she's in, in a um, impulsive energy. She's partying hard. She could have a third party. You know, trying to make this masculine feel like it's a missed opportunity with her. Because she got a new friend. Mm -hmm. But see this, you know, masculine is, is emotionally balanced. He's remaining calm in the situation, managing his emotions. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Bob. She was trying to keep this masculine from being, you know, financially independent like her. She was trying to make him be financially independent. And she didn't want to change. Mm -hmm. she didn't want things to come to an end this is a queen of cups in reverse for some of you no love she's codependent she was hoping in that, 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 that she could change this masculine but this masculine has ghosted her he don't want to feel burnt out no more burden and stress he don't have no sexual energy towards her so he started a new journey with somebody, okay? But he can't focus. He's 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 burnt out. Healing from her, feeling free, but he's healing, and he's determined to get his strength back. See, whoever this baby mama is, she was, you know, she she did a lot of lies and deception. Now, like I said, the roles can be reversed, okay? It could be this masculine who was lying and being deceptive when it came to him and his baby mama. Now he ain't talking to her because maybe he wants to be recognized with this divine feminine. This karmic energy, you know, she, all the, the money that this masculine was giving her, she was recklessly spending. Mm -hmm. And she, he, she did this because this masculine had started a, a, a new relationship with the divine feminine. Will of Fortune in reverse. Queen of Wands, someone who don't respect each other. And this masculine started standing up for himself. And he walked away. Yeah. So yeah, so this masculine, he's he's uh sending this baby mama straight to voicemail. She trying to extort him, but it ain't happening. She feels in the energy. She's having bad luck right now. Wow. This is this is somebody who has a lot of spiritual knowledge. This masculine started, you know, using his third eye. He spoke out about the situation. He started protecting his crown chakra. He didn't block her. Yep. She was trying to keep this masculine from moving forward, searching for a higher source. Um, this masculine, he may have been someone who wasn't into church, religion, spirituality, and none of that. But now he's, you know, he's trying to find himself. He's been doing some soul searching. And this baby mama is just trying to slow him down. So if this reading resonates with you, go on here, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next reading. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Uh, we go into the YouTube settings, hit subscribe, and notifications, and then subscription. And if you're interested in a personal reading, this is the information. You can cash out me. Um, you first email me first. And I'll set up the reading. When you email me, you'll get the reading that same day, okay, or within 24 hours, okay. 
So if you're interested in a personal reading, and I do have a one question reading for $5 if you're interested in that, all the information is in the description box below also. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next reading. Peace out.